this October. When darkness falls. I love a horror movie set in a hospital or asylum. So I checked out the movie Dark Floors from 2008, directed by Pete Risky. And this features the band Lordy, who are a kind of uh, heavy metal rock band who can dress up as monsters uh, very much like uh, the, movie, the band Gwar. And they actually uh, won the Eurovision Song Contest a few years ago. So this is actually a horror movie from Finland, although it is spoken in the English language. Now, my copy actually is called Demonic Possession, but I think for most countries it is called uh, Dark Floors. And the story is as follows. So it focuses on this particular kind of hospital, and primarily it focuses on this father and his autistic daughter, very autistic daughter. And so they're visiting and they're getting a, getting a procedure done, just getting like a CAT scan or something. And uh, the machine kind of breaks down while she's having this kind of scan. And uh, they go to leave the building, they go in this kind of elevator along with a nurse and a handful of other people. But the kind of the elevator starts to kind of break down and ends up getting stuck. And when it kind of reopens, they appear to be in what looks like an alternate dimension where they're still in the hospital but there's no one there um no everyone's kind of disappeared um but it is occupied by some kind of demonic creatures and kind of ghosts and things like this uh now what will happen exactly you'll have to watch the movie and find out so let's talk about it what do we think works with dark floors aka demonic possession now, I'm not familiar with the band Lordy, to be honest with you, and I don't watch the Eurovision Song Contest, so I wasn't really familiar with this band, to be honest, but they kind of just play monsters, and their, co their costumes, I've got to say, look pretty good. I am familiar with Gwar, and they kind of air on the more the kind of the spoofy side, but these costumes do look, um, you know, somewhat kind of movie-worthy in regards to kind of what these monstrous demonic kind of creatures and they're going to say that they, they all have a bit of variety in them they just kind of stand around growling and kind of lurching at people but they're, they're, i think they look kind of quite good and there's lots of kind of um interesting visuals of this movie I, I do have to think the production design here is fairly good it doesn't look like it's like a mega budget movie but you know we get this kind of hospital and as they go down the different floors it all seems kind of more dilapidated and things like this and like i think the visual representation of that is good as is the kind of the costume to these kind of creatures and we get a few kind of ghostly effects we get some kind of like zombie effects and things like that so the whole kind of the aesthetic of this movie outside of some a little bit of kind of uh, um ropey cti it is a 2008 movie is all pretty good it has some interesting story ideas uh the fact that this kind of this parallel dimension kind of plays with time i won't say exactly how that works because it's how it features a couple of different things in the movie but i did i did think it gave some kind of some neat ideas and um you know we have a, a fairly kind of well characterized uh, group of people i think you're a little broadly characterized you know personally and we'll come on to that but you get a good understanding of you know the, the kind of the the basic kind of um personality types of each of the kind of the characters that are kind of trapped in this kind of particular kind of hospital and there is somewhat of a, of a kind of an intriguing mystery about what's kind of going on our you know our kind of group of people don't really understand what's kind of happening to them and then it's as much about trying to kind of find out what exactly is going on and, and we obviously as the audience are kind of on that kind of journey with them um it's not especially gory, but what we do see, I think, is done, to, you know, to a, to a reasonable kind of standard. And oh, there are a couple of kind of like grotesque kind of like bodies and things that they kind of come across and kind of stuff like that. So it almost it has a kind of a fantastic kind of fantasy feel to it, as well as I suppose being kind of mainly a horror. It does look like it was shot in a hospital for certain sequences. I think some of it was looks like it was maybe sound stages, but 
for the most part, I think the, all the kind of the location shown here is pretty intriguing. I think the, the acting is all fine. Um, as I said, the characters are a little broad, but I think the performances are all pretty good. Uh, you've got one of the guys who played Gorman in Aliens uh, has this kind of uh, a role here, and he plays a very sort of similar character. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of a, a fun kind of like wink to Aliens. So what doesn't work for me... Um, as I've mentioned, I think the characters are very, very broad here. And, you know, we, we know exactly who's cannon fodder uh, in, in this film and kind of the order that they're going to get killed off. I mean, we have our, our, our kind of our main guy, the, the father, the little girl, the nurse. And then we have um, security guards, a, a kind of sort of corporate guy who's the kind of the asshole of the group and a kind of a patient, like an elderly guy who's kind of like a patient. So we know who's going to die first. We know who's going to get picked off. And we know these have kind of like a broad kind of character type and they kind of stick to it. They don't have much nuance. So there's that. Um, the I've got to be honest with you. I think this story is a little convoluted. Uh, I didn't quite really understand what the whole kind of concept was actually about, if I'm completely honest with you. I understand some of it, but, you know, I didn't quite really get where it was kind of going. I found that the actual, um, some of the kind of the uh, the elements that it is introduced just a little bit kind of confusing, if I'm completely honest with you. <clears throat> As I've mentioned, this band Lordy, that they, they are basically the bugger. They don't really have any speaking lines, they just stand around growling. They kind of all, they all sort of, you know, are there one by one to sort of like have their kind of moment and be sort of dis, dis, you know, destroyed or kind of like run away from or something like that by our kind of our group of kind of protagonists. Um, I don't know, it didn't quite gel to me. The kind of the supernatural side of the stuff to me, it, I think it looked quite good, but I just didn't really feel like it made a lot of sense, if, if I'm honest. Um, you know, it just seemed like these kind of barbarian looking kind of monsters kind of seemed out of place. I know the whole point was to write a movie around this band, but I don't know. It just, it's like, why are they kind of, why is there like barbarian monsters there? It's just weird. Um, some of the VFX, some of the digital VFX haven't aged particularly well. And probably, this probably wasn't a you know, huge budget movie to begin with. Um, you know, and... Overall, it's it's an okay movie. I think it's visually pretty interesting. The characters are all, you know, they're quite easily kind of uh, definable in their roles, but I don't think they're particularly kind of nuanced characters. The performances are kind of fine. It's got some fun visuals, although I do think it seems a little misplaced at times. And the storyline, you know, some of it, some of it, I think, uh, is, has some interesting ideas. Certainly, that it would have done with time and stuff like that. I thought it was quite fun, but. Some of the other stuff, I, I I just found it was a little convoluted at times. So overall, it's a little bit of a mishmash movie. It's kind of like, if you just want to watch kind of like a, a monster movie that doesn't make a huge amount of sense, you could probably could just enjoy this one for just some fun visuals and a broad understanding of what's kind of going on. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.